All right. Katinya Johnson H. Johnson. Hell is one of the most influential black media published. Johnson got to his style working for Supreme Life Insurance Company, collecting weekly news clipping for his manager, which sparked his idea for his first published Negro Digest. In 1942, with a $500 loan and six thousand dollar raise through subscriptions, Johnson launched his dream project, which later became Black World. Later became Black World. Three years later, he launches in Bonnet. In 1951, he created Jet, a weekly news magazine featuring the Jet Beauty of the Week. Just also expanded from magazine into book published and on Fashion Fair Cosmetic, the premier cosmetic company that catered to darker skin tones before there was finished. Daughter Heights. Hikes had been called to mandate of the civil rights movement and often worked behind the scenes. After receiving two degrees from New York University in 1930, Hikes worked for the New York City Welfare Department and then became the assistant ex- ex- executive director of the Harlem YMCA. She was involved in anti lynching pro- protests brought public attention to the es- exploitation of African-American women working in slave markets. And it scored the first lady in Lemonor Roosevelt to the National Council of Negro Women's Women, a council she served on for more than 40 years in the 1850s. The lobby president, the D. <coughs> As a have to take an aggressive stance on school this disgregation issue. Hikes also worked for Monica King's Union and she stood on the platform with him when he delivered the famous I Have a Dream speech in August 1963. <clears throat> Dion Cornelius. Dion Cornelius. With a Disney Baritone and demanding status, Don Cornelius helped to ship black culture into the spotlight with the creation of the show Soul Train. The hippest trip in America was picked up for national syndication in 1971 with its first episode featuring performers Gladys Knight and the Pips, Eddie Kendricks, Kendricks, Bobby Hutton, Hutton and Honeycomb. The dance show exposed black acts to the larger nation audience preaching soul train, dances, the scrammer board, and the soul train line. And Camille's famous catchphrase, love, peace, and soul. The combination of performance and interview proved to be a formula that worked. The show is one of the longest running syndicated show that ran until 2006. Coach became the first uh, Alice Alice Coachman. Coachman became the first
about it. Josh, hope you have a blessed morning. Happy Wednesday to you. Coleman became the first American African woman for a country to win Olympic gold medals at, at gold medal at the 1948 Summer Olympics in London. She set to record for the high jump at the Olympics, leading to five feet six six and one eight inches. Four years later, she became the first black female athlete to endorse an international consumer product. When she signed on, on as a Coca-Cola sports, sports person. Over the course of her career, she won 34 national titles. She was officially inducted into the National Track and Field Hall of Fame in 1975 and the U.S. Olympics Hall of Fame in 2004. Mm. Maria P. Williams. The landscape of Hollywood has the work of many black women from every divining issue race. And Shannon Rand, to name a few, Williams paved the way as the first black woman to produce, write, and act in her own silent crime movie in 1923. The Flames of Wealth the distributor the film, she formed the Western Film Producing Company and Booking Exchange with her husband. A former Kansas City teacher was also an activist and de- detailed her leadership skill in her 1916 book, My Work and Public Cementor. Ella Waters. F the Waters. Waters first entered the entertainment business in 1920 as a blues singer before making history. Waters was the first to integrate Broadway appearing in environment Berlin. As thousand cheer and eventually became the highest paid performance by Broadway on Broadway. In addition to becoming the first African American to star in her own television variety show in 1939, The Ethel's Water Show, she was nominated for the Academy Awards to the Best Supporting Actress for the film picking in 1950. Also in 1950, Water was the first black actress to star in the television season Believing which aired on ABC in 1962, she became the first African American woman to to be nominated for a primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Singer Performance by the leading leading lady for the show Route 66. Bayard Rustin. One second. Reverend Dr. Miles King Jr. is using credit for the the well I read this one yesterday. Gunner Parks. 
Gordon Parks. Parks was one of the most pro figure figure behind the camera in tw- in 20th century. His photo yo ism from 1942 to 1970 captured a speck of America. Life including issues like civil rights, property, and race relations. Pike was the first American, first African American on the staff of Life Magazine. And he was also responsible for some of the most beautiful images in the page of Emily. Grammar and Void. He later went on to co found the Magazine in 1969. Fox became the first African American to write a direct and major Hollywood studio feature film, The Learning Tree Basis. On his uh, best selling CMA autobiography novel. His next film. Shack helped to shape the the architecture air in the seventies. Park once said, "I saw that the camera could be a weapon against poverty, against racism, against all sorts of social wrongs." I knew at that point I had to have a camera. Madam C. J. Walker. Madam C.J. Walker was the first black female millionaire in America. She made her fortune by creating a homemade line of hair care products for black women. Born Sarah Breed Love, she was inspired to create hair products, hair products after spearing the scab disorder and hair loss. It led to the creation of the Walker system of hair care. She built an empire selling products directly, directly to black women, then explore others to sell them. She used her fortune to found to fund scholarship for women at the Tuskegee Institute and donated to the NAACP. The Black Institute what Black YMCA and other charities. In fact, Netflix his story drama self mode inspired by the life of madam cj walker gives insight into her story and in tumbo malone while madam cj walker may be known as the first black female millionaire she didn't get there without <clears throat> the likes of her employer annie tumbo malone Research shows that stones can help you remember ads. Customize and save. Who was also a millionaire? Searching for a new Hyundai? The search is a couple two trippings to be hair care industry have been overshadowed by Walker's success. Milan was Milan was a chemistry and Oh, shout out to Mr. Sess. Well, it was a uh, chemistry into practice. She developed a hair product to straighten African American women's hair without damaging it. And eventually created a line of hair care and beauty products. She and her assistant sold the product door to door. Hi, Sister Rachel. Happy Wednesday to you. I hope you're having a blessed morning. Uh, probably a straight enough man with damaged hair and even created a line of hair care and beauty products. She and her sister sold the product, the products door to door, giving demonstration before business took off after the World Fair in 1904. Malone established Poor Poor College. And cos- cosmetology school and training center in St. Louis in 1918. She had 32 branches of the school 
throughout the country and amid pictures. Alvin Alley. Alley was an acclaimed dancer, choreographer, and earned global recognition for his impact in modern dance. After honoring the technique at a at the less less uh, Horton Dance Theater and acting as its, its director until 1954, this Ali had the desire to choreography his own ballads and works that different from the transition pieces of this of the time. This inspired him to start the Alvin Alley American Dance Day in 1958, a month trip and provided a platform for talent black dancers and travel around the world. His most popular pieces, Revelations, is an ode to Southern Black Church. He died. He died in, in 1989, but in 2014, the post mostly received the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the country's highest civil um, uh, recognition of the competition and committed the civil rights and dance in America. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do a couple more. Ella Baker. Baker was a um, a mere force to shape it, major force to shape it, the development of the civil rights movement. She was a field secretary and branch director for the NAACP and also co-founder of an organization that raised money to fight Jim Crow laws. Additionally, Baker was a key organizer for Martin Luther King Jr. Southern Christian Leadership Conference (SCLC). One of the one of her biggest contribution to the movement was the student nor Novale Novale Coordinating Committee (SNCC), which Paralyzed nonviolent protests, assisting the organizing the 1961 Freedom Rise and aid in registration of black voters. The Ella Baker Center for Human Rights continued to carry on her legacy. Hey, Sister Sweepy, welcome, my sister. Happy Wednesday to you. Hey, little sweet pea. May just mission. May mission. May mission was the first African American woman to a bid into space aboard the shuttle. He in nineteen ninety two. The team made one hundred twenty seven. Orbits around the Earth over the course of eight days. Jimmy is also a physician teacher, a prince, a Peace Corps volunteer, and president of a tech company, the Jimson Group. She continued to work towards the advancement of young women of color getting more involved in technology, engineer, and math career. Sister Rosette Turk. Before Little Richard, Chuck Berry, Keith Richard, Abbas, or Johnny Cash stomach their guitars or banjo out of melody on the piano, Sister Rosetta Turk created a 
a musical style that that would take the world by storm. Helly as the godmother of rock and roll. Sephisto is both the originator, the originator of pop gospel, and she brought the emotionally changed dimension to the electric guitar, creating a foundation of rock and roll. Third is credited with introducing the spirituality of the gospel into the secular world of rock and roll. Little Richard called her the greatest influence of Chuck Berry said that his entire career was just one long one long Rosetta Thorpe impersonation. In 1969, she was nominated for the Grammy for the best gospel performance for the album Precious Memories. Hey, hey, so Gwen, how you doing? Happy Wednesday to all of y'all. I love each and every last one of y'all. Thanks for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Yes. All right, Max Robinson. Robinson became the first black person to arc the nightly after the nightly network news in 1978. Robinson got his start in 1959 when he was hired to read the news at a station in Portsmouth, Virginia. The station on owner hired him as a news reader, but was told he couldn't show his face. When Robinson protested, he was fired. He moved to Washington to work as a reporter and later co-arginated the evening news, making him the first black author in a major U.S. city. ABC News took notice and named him one of the one of three co-author on World News Tonight. He was also one of the 44 finalists of the National Association of Black Journeys, NABJ. Dr. Patricia Bart. Dr. Patricia Beth and Arthur Monis, I can't pronounce the word, and Leisure Science was not only the first female African American doctor to to patient a medical device, but also the first person to invent surgery that greatly advanced treatment for cataracts. Dr. Bath Dr. Bath intervent the laser face scope probe in nineteen eighty one, which used laser to treat Cardiac more precisely and less painful. The in intervention was able to recover vision for people who had blind had been blind or vision impaired or decayed. See, don't forget to thumb up. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Sister Gwen. Yes, don't forget the thumbs up, like Gwen say. Don't forget the thumbs up. I appreciate it. Okay. Ethel L. Payne. Ethel L. Payne is known as the first lady of the black press. She combined advertising with journalism during the 1950s and 1960s. Some of the common figures of history Main interview include Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., President John F. Kennedy, and Nelson Mandela, among several other noteworthy figures in 1972. CBS hired Peyton as a radio and television commentator, and she became the first black woman to hold such a position. Payne is also the only African American out of four female journalists earning honor about the U.S. Post Service on the Women's and Journeys stamp. Okay, thank you, sis. Thank you. I appreciate, I appreciate the thumbs up. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate it. 
Thank you. Frisie Paula. Paula was the first African American head coach in the National Football League (NFL). He was five feet five. He was five feet nine inches, one hundred sixty-five pounds. What most, what most would consider small for the for the sport. He attended Brown University and was the school's first black player. After serving in the World War One, he joined the Avon Pros of the American Professional Football Association, which later became the NFL. He was one of the only two black players in the league in 1921. While still playing, the team named him his coach, his coach over the course of his career. He coached four different teams and founded a Chicago football team of all Amer- of all African American players. He was introduced in into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2005. Yeah, and everybody knows you, Mayor Maya Angelo, a, a prophetic writer and poetry and actress known for her lyrical prose and regardless speaking voice. And Angela was the first black woman to appear on a quarter. Angela rose to international performance after the public publication of her groundbreaking Uncle Gratitude. I know why the cage bird sings. With its account of, of rape and racism in the segregated South, the receipt of more than 30 honorary degrees, Angelo Reeves on the pulse of warning at the 1993 inauguration of former President Bill Clinton. Angry Reed was the first time an African American woman wrote the 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 present a poem at a presidential inauguration. Yes, yes, and I see, and you know what? I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start right. I see. That's where see. See poetry. Now that brain Gwen is brain of her. She gonna be that next one. At the at the middle, she gonna be another uh my Angela. Now feel it in my heart. Cause when when Gwen brain it, she brain it hard. She brain it hard. And I like I like I like sister Gwen poem too. So you got gas. <laughs> Henry Reddit Lex. After being diagnosed with subverted cancer at, at the Johns Hopkins Hospital in 1951, a sample of Lex cancer cells was taken without her consent by a researcher. She died later that year at 31 years old. Her cells will go on to advance medical research for years to come, as they had the unique ability to double every 20 to 24 hours. They have been used to test the effects of radiation and potions to study the human general to learn more about how virus work and play a crucial role in the development of the polio vaccine. John Hawkins said. Yes, yeah, sweet I hope you feel better. Hey, in the mighty name of Jesus, he a healer. He going to heal you. Hello, Nicholas White. Welcome. 
Thanks for stopping by. Happy Wednesday to each and every last one of y'all. Hope y'all having a joyful morning. Wally Amos, as you stroll to Cookers House in the grocery, the familiar yellow box filled with chocolate chip cookies that says Famous Amos Cookies was created by Wally Amos. His first begun selling cookies in 1975 after receiving some startup money for several close friends, including the late singer Marvin Gaye, to open a store on Sunset Boulevard in Los Angeles. By the early 1980s, demand was rising. So Amos decided to max produce the cookies. He also created Uncle Uncle Wiley's muffins and cookie camera. So I didn't know the cook that he was famous for his chocolate chip cookies. Ida B. Webs. This is gonna be my last one for this morning. Anna B. Wells was an African American journalist, abolitionist, and feminist who led an anti lynching crusade in the United States in the 1980s. She, she owned the newspaper, The Memphis Free Speech, and Headlight, and was a vocal critic of segregated school. Later, she became an actor in the anti lynching campaign in, 19, in 1892 after multiple friends were lynching according to the National Park Service. Even, even visiting the White House to advocate for reforms in 1896, she, form, she formed a National Association of Color, of Color Women where is also considered a founding member of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, NAACP. Most recently, Wells was immortalized with a Barbie doll modern after her. Just since you help me. Oh, okay. All right, I'm going to do one more. I'm going to get off and, and look up. This one here was like important. Jesse Owens. Jesse Owens. Owens was a track and field artist who get a world record in a long jump at, ni- at the 1936 Olympics game of Berlin and went unviable for 25 years. He was the first American to win four gold medals medals of the olympus that year he won medals in 100 and 200 meter dashes along with a 100 meter relay and other events of the track in 1976 orange received the president medal of freedom and was mostly awarded the con- con- congressional gold medal in 1990 Okay, this gonna be it for now. I have some more. Lord say the same in the morning. Lord say the same. And know today is the line dance, and and I will be coming on at seven tonight. So get your water, get your towel. Okay, I want to thank uh sipping lounge. Gwen, thank you, sis, for stopping by. You know you're working, but thank you for stopping by. Oh, yeah. It's a dance day. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. I want to thank Faith. Faith with Rachel. <laughs> I know that's right. Thank you, Sis Rachel, for stopping by. I appreciate it. I know you working. I, I thank you. Y'all take your time and try to come and support me, and I appreciate that. 
Sweet Pea, thank you for some masses. I know you don't feel well, but I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that he put his hands on you and he hear you. He can do everything but fail. Uh, Brother Joshua, I want to thank, you for, thank him for stopping by. I know he's working, but thank you for stopping by. This backstage, thank you for stopping by. And it just... I'm just doing this whole money because some stuff was a lot of people that's from back in the day to now they is famous. I I learned something today. I learned that that I Amos, I see that all the time at the cooking stuff, but I ain't no day he made them. Ah, uh, thank you. I always like you got a sweet chat too. You got a sweet chat too. And I like being in your lounge. Your lounge is so comfortable. So thank y'all again for stopping by. I love each and every last one of y'all. Y'all have a blessed rest of your day. <laughs>